episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official story trailer for The Last of Us Part 2. So, anyways, this game has been delayed multiple times. We've known about this game for like two years now. <laughs> we're roughly two years now. We got the first really good Caesar PlayStation experience at Paris Games Week. We got a very interesting, different trailer about some people. It's, it's the one with the hammer on the hand that makes you cringe. Oh yeah, That's I remember amazing. that. You were definitely, you were definitely, you, you were just like, oh god. Then we got then following E3, we finally got some footage. Then we got uh, the official restate trailer following month, following time for a state of play, which was, hey, it's coming on February. Then it got <laughs> delayed. Yeah. To May. Then the pandemic happened. Then it got it, delayed. No, no, oh, it right. didn't get delayed. It got shelled. It got <laughs> it, shelled. It yeah. got shelled. Then some wise ass hacker spoils the plot points of the game, and now it's taking the place of Ghost of Tsushima's uh, release window, which is in June, and Ghost of Tsushima got pushed to July. So, so it's like they shifted dates. That's what they did. Okay, so what we do. Okay, so disclaimer: He's played through the game fully. I have watched the story fully. He hasn't games. played it though. No, because it's it's just it's uncharted, but it's a real horror. All it is. Wait, but will you ever play it though? Nah, nah it's not your type of game. Nah, like look, I think the story of Last of Us is good, but I can't sit there and do that. So um, that's all right. Like this, like me, I have like, like the only uh, reason games I can probably like, I say I, I'll enjoy, but it's like it's not my like the only my like the only reason I'm, I'm attached to the hip with Uncharted is because. You know, our Tomb Raider experience. Our yeah, action, of course. But, yeah. I'm big, but that, I'm like... But anyways, the story. Yes. So, um, we are, what we do know about the plot is that uh, Ellie's love interest gets taken. Yeah. And so she sets off to go find the bastards that took... So it's taken, but post-apocalyptic. But we thing. don't know what happened to her. In the last trailer, we really sure trailer we got, it's kind of vague it's that like something happened to her. And even, like, um, I didn't know, I had final layer, that that's where, like, the scene where Joel's brother shows up, which I'm like, oh, shit, he's still alive, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, and tries to search around through this, she goes off, and the last thing we see is that Joel is going to tag along with her, too. Yeah. And this is actually the third time in the series that you get to play as Ellie. The first time mm -hmm. was in the base game, in the level where, you have, where Joel's taking... all oh, spoilers, by the way. Spoilers! Uh, where you have to take care of um, Joel while after the, the the thing he got jabbed there. Yeah. And then, of course, in the DLC Left Behind. Yeah, that was only those were only times, but this is now the official full-on... Full. You're playing her. And Joel's still in, in the story, but you're yeah, playing now, her, though. Now, yeah, now the rules are reversed. Oh, like the first game. Because now it's like years later, now she's got more experience now. Yeah. And didn't know what to deal with. So let's just dive right into this for the official story trailer for The Last of Us Part 2. So here we go. Oh, then. Oh man. Oh cool. I was flashbacks. These are flashbacks of uh, what was she parts had? parts of like how she learned. Shit, man. That's a cost. 
Oh, fuck. So, yeah, okay, so, the, remember the original teaser hinted that was the, kind of hinted that it may have been the Fireflies. Yeah. Or what's left of the Fireflies. The ones that After were... Joel kind of, like, dicked them over on the whole, oh, we can find a cure. We just need to remove her brainstem. Well, yeah, we need to, <laughs> it's like, we need to kill her so we can get her brainstem. And that's, that's, it's, it's in, it's in her. Yeah, uh, develop, okay, I, I believe the developers already said sh she, she knows I don't think she's had the conversation with Joel, but she knows that at the end of last, the first last of us, she was he was lying to her. Yeah, he I was. think she knew, and she it's I I don't think I believe they don't they said they don't think they had the conversation yet. They don't have to have that conversation yeah. about what he did to the fireflies. But you see, she still looks up to him as as the father all, figure. Because yeah. all we got from the last year was her and her girlfriend were out on uh, like a like a. Scav like a what was it like a scavenger hunt or oh, scavenging, scavenging I forgot the term oh oh supplier yeah much. doing the yeah that's what and it was. they got caught and something happened to her girlfriend and now she's after the ones who did it yeah but we don't know if that's the fireflies we don't know if they're the ones who kidnap her or even if they if they are why you know yeah that's the question. and when I was, I was talking about the flashback there was a couple there in the beginning that were clearly running on the Last of Us Part Two engine yeah. that's why I said not the one where she's like look out. It's just the one. Mm -hmm. It's just that one. It looks like we are getting flashbacks from like, like you between, know, which, like yeah. between after one where one ended and before yeah, it's like, it, it's like in between, more of like flashbacks where it's like if you think about it, it's like this is how she learned to adapt. This she yeah. learned everything from Joel that he taught yes. her. Uh, like I remember the f second teaser, the Paris Games Week one. Um, people were thinking that they may have flashbacks to Ellie's mom because we've never. Because we never truly do see Ellie's mom. Yeah, or like any type of parentage in a way. We don't see any type of parentage whatsoever. Um, I'm going off of the story stuff I've found. Um, I know, I know. You're uh, going off of what just, they've shown so far. I mean, I watched this trailer. I'm already immediately thinking about the first game. Like the impact and the story. Because they know. They know what they're providing. Because that's where you're not really seeing gameplay aspects. You're mm. seeing story aspects. This, this is a great story. This, this is a good story. I mean, Because they, they did, know. Yeah, they, they did a good job with the trailer when they're showing the first full game tra play trailer. Because that gameplay trailer was phenomenal. And it's like now we're diving deep in the story. It's like, okay, this is what we're getting ourselves into with this character. Yeah. This and is looks, what we're diving and into. And looks like, except for Joel, you know, who is Chris Joel's a hard, badass, hard yeah. ass. You know, she is, does seem like there's a couple people she's pushing away as she's do, as she's taking. She's pretty journey. much taking that emotional route of what's gonna have to take just to save her. Girlfriend yeah, because anyway. and with I want I'm also curious to see how the story progresses because in the first one it was simple get Ellie to the fire to the main fire. Yeah, that was it. Was just get. Uh, here, this is just a road, a road tr revenge road trip. That's what yeah. this is. You're trying to see where you're gonna go to next. What's happening. You know, how's the journey going to progress? I think the most interesting gameplay aspect I've heard is that all the NPCs will have each have their own unique names. Yeah. Which I'm like, that's not going to, for me, uh, if I were to play the game, that's not going to matter to me. I'm going to probably stab you for the for that one trophy I haven't gotten <laughs> yeah. yet. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I do I admit, that's a little nice little thing. Yeah. Um, apparently. Like each, each NPC is very unique yeah. in its own way. Yeah. So like, yeah, but. What did you think? Coming, watching this, having played and experienced the story. No, it's it's gonna be the, the first one was like just like the, just like the first one. I think this one's gonna be also a very emotional ride. The first one was dealing more with Joel, you know, coming to acceptance to the loss of his own his kin, and this new girl coming in. And he's like now realizing, you know, it's like he's becoming this you know father figure to her. And now this one, it's like now seeing her, and now you're playing as her. It's like. Her journey now. It's like what she has to do, things that she was taught, and it's like now we're following through her journey of what it's going to take to, you know, survive yeah, and she's, save her. She's going to have to realize, like, what, jo what she, Joel had to do. What well, She's going to become mm -hmm. Joel if she's not care for her. And you saw yeah. what Joel became by the end of the... Well, eventually became by the end of the first last one. Hell, before even the story began, you saw what he became yeah. because of his daughter. Oh my god, that yeah, that was dark. Yeah, that because of his daughter dying. Yeah, it was so very he, dark. I think that's why he's tagging along for her, to make sure he doesn't, she doesn't go that go down that road. Yeah. He did. 
make sure she's still on that 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 straight and narrow straight and narrow route ahead, pretty much instead of trying to stray off the path. I think that he's that conscience to her to say, hey, don't be like me. Don't please. It's like yeah, you can survive and be like that. I think like, that is the main. I think that I think that this, I think that's what this story is like overall. The puller from the ledge. The, yeah, much. the pull. He's the one to pull her from the ledge and make. That's why they had that scene where you see her. And she's like she's all bloody up. She's like you know. It feels like it's like she's crossing that line. And it's like Joel's there to be like that's enough. Yeah. You know. So, but. I loved it. I can't wait to play the second. I part can't two. wait to watch the show. Part <laughs> you two. You can't wait to play, watch part two. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more to anybody else when it comes to talking about video games and killing some bad people, bad people. Yeah. Hit, hit the subscribe <laughs> button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this official story trailer. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, leading into this without any of the freaking leaks or anything like that but just thoughts going into this game and what's your hopes for for this game or how it's going to end or what the story is going to be going around let us know in the comments down below put down what you thought of our reaction overall but most importantly thank you for watching also let us know what you think about them doing the hbo series so yeah, but too. until next time though i'm kristen and i'm christopher and it's been a very last of us filled episode of srb see ya later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.